In this tutorial, what we're going to do is take a look at how we can transfer web pages from our H drive onto the student intranet. So what I've got here at the moment is I've got an explorer window and you can see I'm in my H drive, computer science, year seven, web project, and I've got this set of web pages here that I've put together. So here's my page, test.html, uh, everyone loves pooters. And what I want to do is to get that and push it up so I can see it over on student web. So the way we do that is by using a program called WinSCP. Uh, it might be on your desktop, that's the icon for it there, or you might be able to get to it by clicking on start, and you can type in WinSCP, all one word, and load it up like that. When it loads up, it'll look something a little bit like this, uh, and all you're going to need to do is to put in the following settings. So first thing to do is to choose SCP. Next thing, where it says host name, we're going to type in there student, web and next to it you're going to type in your student username so it'll be 03 letter letter number number something like that I'll put in mine and you'll need your password and then what you can do is click on login the computer will have a bit of a think and you'll get asked this question just here don't worry about it just click yes what you've now got here is a connection to the computer over on the student web machine. Let's just blow this up full screen. So uh, over here on the right hand side, this represents the uh, the web server that we've got over in the server room. Uh, and if you've ever SSH'd in before and you've looked and done LS, you might have noticed there's a file called README and there's a folder called www. And we're going to put our web pages inside this www folder. I've actually already got a couple of things in here, but while I'm here, if I didn't want this image, for example, I could go in there and delete that now by right-clicking and choosing delete. Yes, please. Or I could take this one and I could delete that as well. So what I want to be able to do though is move files from here on my H drive into here. This is going to help us to do it. The first thing I'm going to do is come up here into the top left corner where I've got this empty box. And if I click on there, I'll see all the different drives I've got access to. You're going to go into your H drive, into your computer science folder, and then go to wherever it is that you've been saving your web pages. To move files from one place to the other, it's as simple as picking up the page you want and dragging it and dropping it on the other side. Thank you. OK. So that's now copied across. You get messages like this from time to time. And the thing that's really neat about this is if I've got some images that I've got in my web page as well. So I don't know if I've got any images around here now. Uh, if I've got some images, there's a picture of nothing. Cake. There we go. So I've got a picture of some cake. So maybe I want that for one of my web pages. I can pull that over as well. And I can copy that in too. So the effect of that is I've now immediately got that available over on the server. And I can view it. And we'll do that in a second. Remember that any web server, like the one we're using over at Student Web, uh, banks on the fact that you've got a file called index.html in there, because as soon as you ask to see this page, that's what it'll look for first. So actually, I'm going to rename my file here, and I'm going to call it index.html. 